That's, uh, that's Rio and the Rockabilly Revival. They sound great. Thanks, Rio. Yeah, they do indeed. Welcome back to the biggest party of the summer. If you've never made it down here to this part of what we're doing, the Dream Cruise, you don't know what you are missing. Yeah, there's so much going on here. If you just walk on down the street, you got displays from a lot of the car companies and the, the suppliers and so forth. There are kids' activities out here, bands besides ours playing, and, of course, amazing cars no matter where you look. Aren't they amazing? And the party stretches all the way up to Pontiac, where Vic and Alicia are hanging out today. What's the latest there in Pontiac, guys? Well, hello, Carolyn and Stephen. I can tell you what, the time flies by when you're having fun and learning about these really cool cars. Right now, we are checking out one real serious convertible. We haven't shown you a convertible up here, a 66 Chevelle Malibu. And I'm talking with Mike and Maggie, the owners. Mike, what's the best thing about this vehicle? Uh, the drivability. I can take it anywhere. We've driven it all over the country, uh, from Florida to uh, California, everywhere. And so I you made this every an everyday day. car? Everyday car. How many hours you got in this thing? Uh, after I bought it nine years ago, a couple months. All right. I've got Maggie, his wife. She's saying hi. What do you love most about Dream Cruise, Maggie? I love the variety of cars and all of the people and the beauty of the cars. On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you rate this uh, beauty? Uh, for me, it's got to be a 10. All right. No surprise there. Hey, you know what? I've got my other half up here tonight, Alicia, guys. <laughs> she has a special car. Hi, Alicia. Thank you, Vic. I just have to say I am channeling my inner pink lady tonight. Woo! How about it? This is so much fun. I am joined by Edward Keene of Waterford with his 50i5 Pontiac Star Chief. Look at that baby. What's the color on this? What's it called? It's turquoise and white mist. Ooh, I love the white mist with that hard top and the, the tires with that white wall. How many miles is on this baby? 47,000 original miles. You're kidding me. That's it? That is it. That did is you restore it. it or did you buy it? I'm slowly in the making, I'm slowly restoring it bit by bit. Yeah. What's your favorite feature about this car? The whole car. There ain't one certain one part about it. I love it all. All right. Well, we love it. Edward Keene from Waterford, thank you so much. We'll see you in just a little bit. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Alicia and Vic. Now let's make a Michigan left at the <laughs> Birmingham Triangle. Yeah, Mary Conway is out there checking out all the classics and some cool new cars, too. Mary, love the new cars. Love the new cars, but you got to love the old ones. And, you know, Camaro's always been known for performance. Like, look at the 68 350. Oh, my goodness. But performance is back. Look at the ZL1. Now, that's got 580 horsepower. I'm joined by Al Oppenheiser. Talk to us about why you wanted the ZL1 to hit the streets. Well, Mary, the ZL1 was always the highest horsepower engine that uh, we ever did in a Chevy Camaro. And so we're really pleased that we can bring it back in 2012. We've also got our 1LE, which is a new track car. So for $35. $500 added on to an SS, you can take it to the track every weekend. It's an awesome package. Well, we're going to be talking a little bit later, too, about the Copo, which is a really cool opportunity, but you're really going after racers. We're going after racers. We've got several opportunities now from 580 horsepower to our 426 horsepower SS. It's, it's great. It's great to be doing this in 2012. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Al. Yeah, you heard him. 580 horsepower. A little fun there, don't you think, Stephen and Carolyn? All right, thanks a lot, Mary. What a great ride we're having here tonight in our 69 Camaro, and I love, I love driving. <laughs> I'm over here. I keep hitting the brakes. There's so much more to come, though. Coming up next, we're talking fast cars with a member of the first family of racing, Marco they and Jenny. They know something about moving fast. We're going to check in also with our tweet-up trolley, taking you inside the cruise like never before. But first of all, the city in the center of the Dream Cruise, where we are here at Royal Oak. We've got a convertible with its motor running, so let's hit the streets. Vroom. to have restored this classic. This beauty was purchased out in South Lyon and it was pretty much junk. It's a 1965 Chevelle Malibu, 327, automatic, and you can see it's a convertible. And it needed a lot of work. And it took about six months to get it in the condition it was in to drive. And 
Now that all the hard work is done, there's nothing to do but enjoy cruising. I have four grandchildren, two boys, two girls, and they are fans. They were in the Memorial Day Parade sitting on the boot with their great-grandfather who was a World War II vet. Dale has lived in Royal Oak all of his life. Number one, it's a nice, nice community. School systems, number one, recreation, number two, shopping. You can get from here to a Red Wings game, a Tiger game within 10 minutes. If you want to go north, you can be north in two hours. Uh, friendly atmosphere. The city also offers unique shopping and dining experiences, many along Main Street, and there are many different neighborhoods to call home. Cruisers love gathering at the Shell Station on Woodward, as well as hanging out at Dugan's. Cruising down memory lane is something Dale loves to do as well, especially on a beautiful summer day in Royal Oak. I guess it takes us back when we were 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That's what we did. The fun was cruising in an old car, fixing it up, going from drive-in to drive-in, and trying to pick up the opposite sex. Born a blank slate. Ten fingers, ten toes, and endless possibilities. But our crawl becomes a walk, our walk becomes a run, and one day we're on our own. Out in the world making the decisions that make up our lives, and reaching the milestones that make it memorable. Starting a career, starting a life together, starting a family. Look at all the decisions you've made, how far you've come. As you reach the Medicare milestone, you know a few things. Asking questions is one half of wisdom. And having a good partner makes it easier. Ask, learn, understand your Medicare with a little help from HAP. Welcome to Tim Horton's Cafe and Bake Shop, where fresh always tastes better. What can I make you this morning? How about our new flatbread breakfast paninis? Made fresh, just for you, with your favorite breakfast ingredients on maple or multi-grain flatbread, then grilled to hot, melted perfection. Just $2.99. Who couldn't warm up to that? Tim Horton's Cafe and Bake Shop, where quality really does meet value. It's a celebration of Motor City Metal and the classic days of cruising. And our thanks to Rio and the Rockabilly Revival for our live music. Welcome back to our live Dream Cruise Aren't special. Aren't they jamming? They They've are. only it's been a... together like a year. That is a great I mean, group. it's amazing. We are being entertained for sure. When it comes to understanding fast cars, though, it always helps to have an Andretti uh -huh. around. We met up with Marco Andretti at the GM Heritage Center for a rare look at one of America's premier collections. Check it out. Race car driver Marco Andretti comes from a long line of racers and car lovers. Walking through the General Motors Heritage Center, he looks like a kid in the car candy store. Just the history and, and uh, all the cool concept cars. It's just, it's unbelievable what Chevrolet has done in the, uh, the car world. Looking at the incredible array of classic muscle and performance cars, Marco says one stands out as a family favorite. It was hard to miss definitely the Camaro, uh, the, the Indy 500 pace car. Obviously, you know, my grandfather won in, in uh, 69, so um, that particular car means a lot to our family. Both the GM Heritage Center and the Woodward Dream Cruise salute the best vehicles to ever roll off an assembly line, the 50s really started Chevrolet's performance parade. 
The 55 Chevy is really the beginning of performance for, for General Motors and Chevrolet. But there are other classics that really capture the heart of cruising. The 70 El Camino, the half truck, half car combo has the front of the Chevelle and some of the highest horsepower that came straight from the factory. The 66 Impala Super Sport is legendary. Super Sport means performance. And the first thing people do when they see an SS car is they look for that tag on the front to see what size the motor is. And when you see the 427, you better look out. And perhaps the most recognizable cruiser of them all, the 57 Chevy. The styling on the 57 Chevy has been timeless. Just every aspect of the car, when you look around it, screams aerodynamics, screams aero-inspired design from the bomb sights on the hood to the, the way the headlights are shaped and the tail fins. And it's just one of those cars that brings back great Great memories of the late 50s. Well, you, gotta, you gotta love the Andretti, so you want that. I want that one. Well, Big tent. Get someone to buy it for you. Maybe your wife. <laughs> now let's steer on over to Woodward. Yeah, Dave Rex about this cruising a style in a 74 Eldorado. Rexy, what's up? Yeah, this is a beautiful Cadillac for sure. Uh, I found another beauty here as well. This is a 1926 Essex, and Charles is awfully proud of this. This is our red light special. We picked it up at the last red light. It looks fantastic. How many times have you cruised uh, out here on Woodward? How many years? Five years, so he's an old pro. He said he'd been here since last Saturday, working a whole week. It looks great. Thank you, Charles. There are great cars all around here. If you look behind us too now, we're picking up a pretty good one. This silver one back here, nice little Mercedes. Yeah, we hear you. You can't find better stuff out here at Woodward. They, no, this is kind of the culmination. Somebody back there is getting a little testy with the muscle. You can't get better. No, I think we just found who it was. Anyway, we'll shake things up here a bit more and be back for Woodward coming up in just a little bit. All right, I can't help but get a little sports coverage in here. Lions, a little nice tune-up last night, but we're not going to talk about their performance on the field because, yes, that is a car. Marvin Morris Essex here working on these cars, and how long did it take to put this thing together? Because this is a gem. Uh, about three months, about three months. What was the inspiration behind it? And you know how they say it's not all about what's on the inside, it's also about what's on the outside? How about that? What was the inspiration behind it? Uh, just been Lions fans and sports fans of Detroit for a long time. And that's not where it stops right now. We got his brothers over here. Check this out. If football's not your thing and you're more of a basketball fan, check out the Palace of Auburn Hills right in the back of your own vehicle. More of a basketball fan yourself? Yes, I am. Now, this one took a little bit shorter time, didn't it? Yeah, it took six weeks for this one. What was the? What, what did he miss on his message there? He didn't pay. He did. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the guy to know when it comes to it. And I like the back of this one. Close it up here so we can take a look at the back. That is pretty cool right there. Back when they won the championship, right? Yes, sir back in 04. So Marvin Morris, that's the story down here. This is too cool. We're going to be checking this out. I'm drooling here from just checking out how awesome pieces these are of Detroit memorabilia. Back to you guys, Carolyn and Steven. All right, Brad, thank you so very much for that cool stuff. Hey, we're having a great time here tonight. We hope you're all coming up. We've got more muscle cars. We've got more high rods, rat rods, custom rides, everything from the heart of Woodward Avenue. And we're having so much fun for sure. Remember American Bandstand and what oh, yeah. about so Train. Sure. All right, we've got a tribute to the greatest dance shows of all time coming up next. But first, we're going to cruise through the city that recently earned a top spot on Business Week's list of most affordable cities in America. Yeah, we're going to see why this one is such a classic favorite. say Michael Reynolds loves the classics. Well, I am a classic car fan. I grew up around classic cars and going to car shows, and it's uh, kind of a passion of mine, a hobby of mine. So I saw this big red uh, car, and I couldn't resist it. The big red car he's talking about is this 1965 Ford Galaxy 500 convertible. We're looking at a uh, high-performance 390 special order T-Bird engine that was put in this car, and it's got a automatic transmission. It's all original. All the paint and chrome and everything is just the way it was when it rolled off the assembly line, and I, uh, I've done some interior restoration work on it, putting, uh, restored the dashboard and uh, put new carpeting in it. Reynolds and Berkeley Mayor Phil O'Dwyer cruised the town and showed off what makes this community so special. A walkable downtown has so many wonderful restaurants 
that uh, people can dine in. And along Woodward Avenue itself, we have Vincetta Garage that has just recently opened. We have Chris Bellies that has just opened in the last six months. We have the Atomic Dog. But more than the places to go and the things to do, it's the vibe the community offers. It's a fantastic all-American little hometown. I, I love the, the people here. It's got a real neighborly, uh, friendly feel to it. People care for one another, look out for one another, celebrate and live life together in cooperative, congenial ways. The Woodward Dream Cruise, presented by Chevrolet, is brought to you by DMC Children's Hospital of Michigan. Always there just for them. By Gardner White Furniture and Chevrolet, the official ride of the Woodward Dream Cruise.